Salam alaikum. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It brings me great pleasure to be here with you today. For those who don't know me, my name is Tariq Hilal Al Barwani, and I am your new friend. For those who already know me, I'm very happy to be here with you today. My presentation is going to be about creating a result-oriented organization through people from the society. And the things that I'm going to be sharing with you today is first, I would like to get one thing or one notion very, very clear, is that I'm not a computer box. I do know how the box works, and, and I was able to utilize the box to make an impact to the society. I would also like to share that there is no magic in winning organization. Success, ladies and gentlemen, is all about passion. And do not underestimate the power of people. It's, it's not going to be very, very easy for me to share what the organization Knowledge Oman has done for the past six years, nor I will be able to share what I was able to do for the past 30 years, I just have 18 minutes, and I promise the organizers is I'll try my best to squeeze as much as I can, but inshallah ta'ala, Mr. Dabawala has done a fantastic presentation, has shared nice gifts, but what I'll be able to do is to share knowledge back to you, inshallah. All right, I promised to first ensure that I share that I am not a computer box, so, I was introduced to computers at the age of five years old. Usually, people like to play games to move from one level to another. But for myself, what I wanted really to do was to be inside the game and move from one level to another. As Jamal, a very cl close friend of mine said, I have been using the computers to create automated tasks for my parents, family, and I, yes, I used computers as well to create prank stuff, but now I'm old, so I'm not doing that anymore. At the age of 13 years old, I joined the Omani Science Club, and yes, I was sent to Bahrain to represent Oman regionally. I have created many, many applications here in Oman back in the 90s. In fact, when those days when the viruses were penetrating in a lot of computers and people were supposed and are supposed to have antiviruses installed on the computers, I have actually created free softwares, placed them online for people to download and clear the viruses which are on the computers. Romantel, which was owned, uh, the, 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 which was owned by, of course, the government. Previously, what was known as GTO, you remember, right? When they privatized, the name changed from GTO to Romantel. And one of the challenges that they had was changing all of their subscribers' base from using GTO.net.om to Romantel.net.om. What I did was I approached them. I said, what about I create you a small program which would convert all the user base and allow them to use just simple clicks with the program and change all the database. And yes, the program was officially launched by Armantel, and the program was created by me, impacted 20,000 subscribers. I have been working with a fantastic organization. That's one of the first organizations I worked for. It's known as United Media Services. And we were the first to coin the word in Oman portal. A portal is a website that has, you know, greeting cards, has a uh, different listing of, uh, of, of companies, directories, and so on. I was among the first to introduce this with the team, of course, at that time. Later on, I have been the first also in Oman to write articles in technology, both in English and Arabic. Today, you've got a lot of people doing it. When I left United Media Services, I said I'll create my own portal, and that portal was specifically to IT, 
It was sponsored by seven giants uh, in Oman. It was within a year won the best website in Oman. And yes, if Microsoft bought Hotmail, my website was the first website to be bought by an international group of companies in Oman. I have went to the Minister of Information and I said, hey, why don't we create a program which would share the awareness about IT in Oman? So we introduced the first uh, television program, Raqamiyat, and then we've also introduced the first FM program, CyberTalk. Today you've got the programs t uh, going on till date. An annual program known as the Oman Web Awards, they've been always and they're still having this program in which they highlight the best sites in Oman. I went to them and said, instead of having, calling on the sites and the winners uh, and showcasing the site, why don't we add an, an element to it? And that's when we introduced something called this IT quiz. It's still happening till today. You all know about Comex, right? Comex is the largest exhibition in Oman. What they do, you go over there to see the latest in computings. I came to them and said, instead of doing an exhibition, why don't we also have a school so when people come in, they learn about the different uh, topics and aspects of information technology. Today they've got a conference that happens every year. IT awareness programs, I went through all the way from Masqat to Salala and I've been sharing and still do it whenever I'm invited to speak about the latest aspects of information technology to build the awareness of information technology. Now, Knowledge Oman which is the organization that I'm part of, uh, alhamdulillah, does this and even more. The idea, so, this is what happens. I thought to myself, now, if I've got these two hands, what if I can have four hands? What if I can have 100 hands? What if I can have 1,000 hands? And why am I saying that? To, in order to be able to continue doing what I'm doing is by sharing knowledge across the country, but instead of one person, let's do it by many people. Ability to touch and impact many people simultaneously at the same time, rather than one place. Speak one language, share one message, but in different languages. Do it online and offline, not only being able to do it on ground, that like as whatever I do, but also do it using the electronic mediums. Today people got mobile phone, tablets, uh, you've got your internet, so how can you be able to do with all those uh, uh, channels that are available today? And of course use different mediums that are available. Attract talented and passionate individuals. Believe me, there are a lot of people who are great people. You've seen some of the great uh, speakers today who have shared some of fantastic presentations. There are a lot of people out there who are able to come and do the same thing and even better. How can we all come together? How can we all have one platform? That was also in the mind. Reduce the gap between the acad academia and the industry. How can we get them all closer? People speak, many organizations speak about corporate social responsibility. I said, all right, how can we help this organization to get closer to the community? And how can we, as people, as person, go out and social responsibly do, give back to the community? So came, all right, so I have the idea, I have the initiative, what should I call it? What could be better than three letter words? Basically, it's two. Knowledge, that's the activity that we do. Oman, our beautiful country, something that has no Oman, and add the dot com element to it so that it's also done not on the ground, it's also done electronically as well. Every organization needs to have three important elements, purpose, model, and direction. I know many people use the MBA jargon, organization use the word what? Strategy, vision, mission. If I ask this question, I'll ask most of you, what is the vision or mission of your organization? You know what most of the people will do? Uh, but really, you need to go to the very, very basics, which is purpose, model, direction. For not a German, our purpose is very simple. Create a knowledge-based platform where people exchange and generate knowledge. Our model is, as you can see on the screen, we are in knowledge age. We, want, we would like to encourage innovation, 
build the community and, and, and society, and that's where you have a thriving economy. We, ladies and gentlemen, are an organization made of people, by people, for the people. So what contribution has this organization do, done so far? We were the first to introduce a knowledge platform in Oman, a discussion forum, which was in both languages, English and Arabic. We do nothing, we only entertain knowledge topics. We were the first, and we do, identify and highlight talented and passionate people, knowledge speakers across Oman. What do we do? We promote the people who are in the country, locally, and internationally, both local and expatriates, whoever is living in Oman and has a talent to go out and bring back to the country. We have collaborated with many, many organizations. These are some of them, the Information Technology Authority and Microsoft, to introduce programs, and these programs got a lot of people certified. We have partnered with the largest electronic store in Oman to do what? To basically do activities and quiz and, and questions and things that would engage with the members with things that are related to knowledge. We have donated a lot of education materials, uh, materials to colleges and universities. We give back to the community. We have initiated a lot of campaigns, uh, charity campaigns and programs with great institutions like Dar al Ata, where what do we do? We encourage giving, giving back. We have introduced a program known as KO Talks. What is it basically? It takes ambassadors from the colleges, from the universities, uh, professionals from organizations who are good at what they do to come and speak to the colleges and build the capacity that we have in Oman. We have introduced seminars and workshops where we promote and encourage knowledge sharing. We, we, we've worked with the U.S. Embassy to empower the youth in Oman in which we support again building the capacity in Oman. We have introduced an online learning, uh, and, and it has been used with many colleges in Oman where the instructors use this platform to educate their students. Microsoft, we brought Microsoft here to Oman, and we have come up with a program known as the Microsoft App Academy, where people were taught how to develop applications using their mobile phone, using their tablets, and using their computers, of course. Nokia is soon going to introduce a program known as HERE, which will put Oman into the world map. We speak a lot about tourism, and there's a lot of nice places in Oman, right? What we do is we're going to work closely with Nokia, and soon you're going to hear about it, where we allow the community, the people, to share information onto the internet, where a man will be known. So we will not be waiting always for Masqat Festival. No, we will be doing it now, using the electronic mediums. I community, all the great bloggers that we have, we've created a space for them as well. Instead of people going directly to one place, no. We have a platform specifically for them. We had our own social media that we created. Instead of going for a Facebook, no, we've created Oman wall and Oman videos as well. We had the library where people can put their books online for people to read. Knowledge partnerships, we have a lot of uh, uh, exhibition programs and people who are members of our database, if you join in knowledgearman.com and register today, instead of you going to the conferences and paying for the full ticket, no, you get a special discount if you're part of Knowledge Arman. Our milestones, as you can see, we started in 2008, April, and we've recently celebrated our anniversary as well. These are the kind of things we've done. So from creating online uh, uh, share, uh, knowledge platform, to free education, to supporting the community, to expansion, and now we're moving ahead to collaboration and partnership, bringing organizations together to reduce the gap with the academy and bring back to the community. And yes, throughout the years, alhamdulillah, we won great awards locally and internationally. Who are the people who are doing this? Knowledge Arman team. And if you notice, we get recognized for the kind of thing we do. All the people that you see on the screen right now, ladies and gentlemen, are people who are actually, some of you are sitting here, some of you are even viewing online. And inshallah, probably, we're all going to work together. So these are the kind of things and activities we've done, and even more, but of course, as I said, this is, I've got very few minutes to share, so I'm just sharing you some of the snapshot 
of the activities that Knowledge Oman has been involved in and the people who have been contributing back to the society. All right, you all know who's that on the screen, right? Can anyone tell me who's that? The great, the great Jamal, our MC. In fact, Jamal was the person who helped us establish seminars where we've had great knowledge seminars. And yes, we promote talent, we bring talents together to bring back to the community. And this is Jalal as well. I know Jalal, you're somewhere here, right? All right. Hi. So, Sahara and the team, you're also here, I guess. Okay, so if you notice, and what do we do? We also promote the talent to attend conferences. We also ensure that we work together, so we sit as a team to think how we can bring back to the country, how can we bring back to the community. We've been everywhere, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks to the media and people who are supporting us for the great things that we do. Challenges with every organization, definitely there are a lot of challenges. Some of them are, there is no support for financial uh, expansion. We have done, alhamdulillah, great stuff, but there's a lot of things that we would like to do, but of course, we do not have support for that, uh, but, but that doesn't mean we will, not, we will not reach there. We will do it, because as I said at the beginning of the session today, do not underestimate the power of people. Do not underestimate the power of you. The nature of activity is volunteering. So everything that we do, as you notice today, we do it in a volunteer manner. In fact, we only do it after working hours. I work for a company, and the p different people that are part of Knowledge Oman are representing, you see, we've got Jamal, we've got Jalal, we've got XYZ people. All of them are actually working at different places, but we come together to say, how can we give back to the Oman, to the country? People dynamics, like any other organization. But what do we do, in fact, to solve all those issues? We have a lot of personal professional development. We send people for training, we send people for uh, the conferences to attend. We do, uh, in fact, when you're working with the team, you get a lot to learn, because I'll tell you one thing, you don't get paid anything. But the opportunity for you to work with among the finest and, um, and the best in the country, that itself is rewarding, right? You get an opportunity to connect and build a network. You self-explanatory, work with the best and the finest in the country. You get an opportunity to do what you normally cannot do in a paid job. When you work in an organization, a paid job, whatever the success that organization has done, it's about the companies, right? It's not a German, it's about you. It goes back to you. Whatever you do goes back to you. You attend first class conferences, seminars, exhibitions, and scholarships, where normally you'd pay. At Knowledge German, you get an opportunity to do all that, and network, of course. You get recognized directly and personally in whatever you do. And whatever you do, ladies and gentlemen, goes back to you. At the end of the year, of course, we do give away awards like laptops, mobiles, phones, and et cetera, to keep motivating the people who are part of the, uh, the organization. Lessons to share, ladies and gentlemen. A, all organizations can succeed. Two, you need to have a clear purpose, model, and direction. No vision, strategy, Whatever, please, it's very, very simple. What's your purpose? What's your model? What's your direction? People, you are a strong asset. Believe me, you could do great things, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at an example at Sabah and Safiya, Mr. Dabwala. What are the great things that have they done? And many, many of the, 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 the great people like Badr, they've reached to Antarctica. You take me next time. Recognize, ladies and gentlemen, and motivate your people. People are everything. As I said, they are the ones that make the difference. Put accountability and sustainability. Ensure you put accountability to the people. Ensure you have a sustainable organization. Keep starting up. For us at Knowledge Oman, the success is very, very simple. Since 2008 till today, every day is a new day. And what am I trying to say? We started from a forum, as simple as forum, and we said, let's do it in English and Arabic, and then we went to seminars, and then we've done knowledge uh, uh, partnership. We've done it almost all, and we keep every day is a new day. In fact, once I leave here, this is gonna be an old session. Sharing is caring. Whatever you, 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 you succeed, ensure that the celebration is shared with everyone. Now, one last thing that I need to share is I believe, I mean, majority of people, what they say is uh, 
magic. Some organizations are using magic, right? Magic, that's how they do it. Or maybe Tariq al Barwani is doing some magic. That's how it's successful. Well, I'm not successful, I'm just giving an example. Uh, and many, many people are doing it. I mean, we, we have Safiya, Sabah, uh, we have Badr, we have Dabwala. They, they're doing magic. Really, they don't do magic. Once you know how magic is done, what happens? You say, ah, oh, it's easy, right? So you could do it as well. Let me show you a small little example here. So you all see this cloth here, right? What color is it? What? Blue. Look at it very carefully. Blue color. What I'm going to do then here is I'm going to create a small hole. A small little hole. A small little hole. <whistles> All right. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it back. Here you go. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can do magic, you all can do it. Thank you very, very much.